Hello and welcome to this short video tour of St Ninian's Isle where we'll see the beach, the chapel site and some of the spectacular coastline. For the full tour check out my Patreon site and just search Shetland with Laurie for the full 40 minute tour of the island and all its history. I've been trying to get out for a few days now and the weather has just been rubbish. It's been rainy, windy. Um, today it's fairly windy so I'm gonna go out and see if it works. Um, might be a bit of noise with the wind so we'll just go and try. And the sea is kind of um, rough and yeah we'll just have to go out. I'm just sitting in the car so that I don't have to go out but um, yeah we'll go and see if we can get on to St Ninian's Isle and see what we can see. a cold wind here today. The air temperature is and I'm out the wind now at the other side. But the air temperature is six degrees Celsius. But the, the wind chill it's biting. Biting cold. So whew, out the wind at the other side of the tombolo and looking back across at um, the mainland at Bigton. We're on the island of St Ninian's Isle now, looking back across the beach. Uh, the island was inhabited up until around about 1790 and I speak more about that on the tour, but fantastic views looking south. Just approaching the chapel site. It's a 12th century chapel and when they were excavating it they discovered the famous St Ninian's Isle treasure which is now on display in the National Museum. Fantastic spot to have a chapel. But for now we'll just go and have a look at the site. It's open to visitors all year round, there's no admission fee or anything, you can just walk in and explore. There are interpretation panels if you're not going to join me on the full tour. There it is overlooking the beach. But there are lots of stories around here about um, shipwrecks, treasure. I'm trying to hide from the wind. I just have to stay crouched I think. So yeah there's loads of stories here about shipwrecks and um, there's been quite a number of shipwrecks in the area. From here we're just going to walk down to the southwest corner of the island and see some of the stunning coastline. It's fantastic scenery around here. You can do a full island circular walk in the whole perimeter of the island. I didn't do that today. It was just too windy and it was really bad for filming. But I have written a blog about the island circular walk so you can go and have a look at that. But it's just nice. It's a good walk any time of the year as well. I think the blog that I wrote was written in January last year, so a good all year walk. Uh, stunning. I'm gonna try and beat the rain. She says. 
but running on sand is hard. I'm back at the car <laughs> and it's really chucking it didn't it? So I'm really glad I went out first thing in the morning. I was like humming and hen about whether to just wait and see if it dried up a bit or just go out and do it in the rain. And I just dropped off the, the burns at school and I just drove down here and I'm glad I did because it's definitely getting windier and getting rainier. But been a fantastic walk, really invigorating. It's just so nice getting out and getting some fresh air.